Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today, we're finally going to be taking a look at a new product from Ubiquity, and that product is the G5 Professional Camera. I also will be testing out the vision enhancer that goes with it. First and foremost, I want to thank Ubiquity for sending me this gear to do a video on. The G5 Professional Camera is one of the newer cameras in their Protect line, and it's a 4K camera with three times optical zoom. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com. If you want to communicate more with us or the community, I do have a Discord server, and I also have affiliate links down in the description below. The first thing we're going to do is take a closer look at the G5 Professional over on the desk beside me. I'm also going to put on the enhancer so that you can see how it clicks in. Now, this is everything that comes in the box with the G5 Professional Camera. I took this out a couple days ago just to do a bit of testing. And this is the G5 Professional Camera. We can see on the side that we have our Ubiquiti logo. It does look like the same size as the G4. And we will be doing comparisons between the G5 Professional and the G4 Professional. It also comes with the same mounting arm and then the base. It comes with the back plate in case we're going to be attaching this to a pole, which I will be doing for my testing. Inside this plastic bag, it comes with some screws and anchors and an extra grommet. It's very important to make sure that you put this grommet in so that we don't get moisture into our ethernet port. And if you've ever used the G4 Professional, you'd notice that they came with the tool and this is to tighten our mount to the camera. Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is the G5 Vision Enhancer and this thing is freaking awesome. So it comes with the floodlight that is 600 lumen and then extra infrareds. On these infrareds, you need to make sure to take off these little pieces of plastic on the side it's not very noticeable when you take it out of the box. When I do my testing, we're first not going to have the vision enhancer on. We're just going to do it the IRs on the G5 Professional against the IRs on the G4 Pro. And then after that, I'll end up putting the enhancer on. But first, let me show you how this actually mounts. On the inside of the enhancer, you could see this USB-C and then it also has this wheel to tighten up. On the back of the G5 Professional, we also have that USB-C, so we need to line that up. So all we do, we're going to grab the camera and we're going to place it in. Now, once the USB-C is in the back of the camera, all we need to do is tighten this up. They also have this piece right here that you need to click in. And then on the back, you can see where we're going to end up putting our Ethernet cable through. Now we're going to go back to the computer and look at the different specs between the G4 Professional and the G5 Professional. Now we've taken a look at what the G5 Professional looks like. Let's look at the different specs between the G4 and the G5. They are pretty much similar. The G4 Professional is $449 USD, whereas the G5 Professional is $379 USD. They're both 4K 8 megapixel video resolution and they both offer three times optical zoom. They also both have the AI event detection, so that's your smart person and your smart vehicle detections. And they also have infrared, but this is where it varies a little bit. On the G4 Professional, we could do up to 15 meters or 50 feet. And on the G5 Professional, we could do 25 meters or 82 feet. Unfortunately, my backyard where we'll be testing this and in my front yard isn't that long, but we'll have to see how good the quality is between the two. Also, both these cameras, they record audio and they both are powered by PoE. The other difference is the G5 Professional could have the vision enhancer, whereas the G4 Professional can't have the vision enhancer and they're both outdoor rated. Another difference is the weatherproofing rating. On the G4 Professional, we have IP67 and on the G5 Professional, we have IP65. And let's take a look at what that means. For the G4 Professional, we have the IP67, which is protected against complete temporary water submersion. And for the IP65, it's just water resistant. Now, I believe within the G4 Professional, there is more IR sensors than in the G5. I think there are only two. But from what I've heard in the G5 Professional, the IRs are stronger. So we will have to test that out and we'll do that without the enhancer and then we'll do it with the enhancer. But two more changes is the max frame rate for the G4 Professional is 50 frames per second. You turn that on, it drops it down to 2K, I believe. And with the G5 Professional, we only could do 30 frames per second. There is no high frame rate mode, and I'll show you that in the settings. And one other difference with the G4 Professional, we have the gigabit ethernet interface, and the G5, we have a 100 meg interface, which it doesn't make a difference because we could still do 4K streaming at 100 megabit per second. Now, just looking at the G5 Professional page, we could go under image performance, and it's gonna show us a bit of the differences between the G4 and the G5. And we have the high dynamic range, we also have the night vision, which is the IR sensors on. With the night vision with the G5 Pro, we could see further. 
Also with low light, the G5 Pro is supposed to perform better and we will take a look at that. Now I have a temporary setup in my backyard that holds the G4 and the G5 Pro and you can see a picture of that here. My backyard is quite a bit darker than the front yard. We have a lot of street lights in the front so I want to test the infrared back there. After we're done testing the infrared there, I'm going to attach the G5 to my house with the extender and then we're going to see how that looks. But now let's get the G5 Professional adopted. You'd see it here in my controller and all we need to do is click to adopt. Now it's adopted, let's take a look at some of the settings. So we'll click on the G5 Professional and you can see that it's just set up in my backyard and I will do some videos walking towards it and we'll check the audio quality as well. But we could see the status, we could see the connection, the model, the firmware, the last motion, the MAC address, IP address, frame rate, bit rate, and then uptime. Under the recording mode, it's using the global recording settings and it's doing detections to record and it's doing the smart detections, which is the person vehicle and then smoke and CO alarm. Now, if you want to save some storage space, you could lower the quality on the frame rate and the image quality, but I don't really care about that. I want the best picture possible. And we also have our detection in our privacy zone. So we could do our motion, we could do smart detections, we could do crossing line, and then we could add the privacy. We'll look at this in a bit when I do put the enhancer on, there are a few different options. Now, just by looking at this camera, the picture looks pretty good to me, and we will compare this between the G4 and the G5, but we could also look at the settings. So under the settings, we have a brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, optical zoom, which we could do the three times optical zoom, and let me show you that. We'll click on it, and then we'll zoom in. We could do it again. And then we could do it once more to the full, which would be the three times. And I'll try this out again when it is nighttime to see how well the night vision picks up. We also have focus, denoise, AE mode, orientation, and then we have our HDR. I usually leave everything at default because I find the defaults are pretty good, but this is where you would find the settings if you need to change anything. I'm going to go to my backyard and I'm going to record me saying a couple things to both the G4 Pro and the G5 Pro. And then we could take a look at the difference of the quality. G4 Pro audio test 1, 2. G4 Pro audio test 1, 2. G5 audio test 1, 2. G5 audio test 1, 2. G4 audio test 1, 2. G4 audio test 1, 2. G5 audio test 1, 2. G5 audio test 1, 2. G4 audio test 1, 2. G4 audio test 1, 2. G5 audio test 1, 2. G5 audio test 1, 2. All right, and that was the audio test between the G4 and the G5, and obviously the G4 was a lot louder. One thing with the G4 though, it added a bunch of that background noise, whereas the G5 didn't have any of the background noise, but you really couldn't hear my voice. Hopefully that's something that Ubiquity could change in the firmware. If audio is a big thing to you, that might be something to consider. Also, you need to make sure with your state law or your province law, if you're even allowed to record audio. Now looking at these two cameras side by side, we have our G4 Pro on the left and then the G5 on the right. It's pretty hard to tell which one has a better picture quality. I think they both look great. On the G4, it looks a little bit darker in the shadows where the G5 looks a bit brighter. So to me, I don't really care about audio. So right now I would probably just go with the G5, but we need to see what the night vision is all about. And we'll do that once it gets dark outside. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the night vision for the G4 and the G5 Professional. I did a couple takes and we also did it with the optical zoom going at 33%, 66%, and then 99% or 100% just to see if there was any difference. This right here is for the G4 Pro. There is no optical zoom on right now, so let's take a look. And the reason I'm waving my arm is just to see if there's any ghosting around my arms as I'm moving. So all in all, that picture looks pretty good for the G4. Now let's take a look at the G5. So we're doing the same test with the G5 Professional. We're waving my arms, walking towards the camera, and it does look pretty good, and I don't see really any ghosting. There might be a little bit near the face, but it looks a little bit brighter, and I could see more of my features. This next video is for the G4 Professional with 33% optical zoom. Again, I am waving my hands, and it does look pretty good. Again, we're running the same test with the G5 Professional, and this is at 33% optical zoom. I do think this does look better. I could see more of my facial features. This next test is on the G4 Pro with 66% optical zoom. Now we're doing the same test with the G5 Professional and at 66 times optical zoom. And to me, it does look good. There might be a smidge of ghosting though. 
This is the last test for the G4 Pro, and this is at 100% optical zoom. And I do notice a bit of ghosting on this as well, but they both look pretty similar in quality. I almost think that the G5 looks better. Now let's take a look at the G5 at 100% optical zoom. And this is the last test for the G5 Professional with 100% optical zoom. And to me, it does look better than the G4. Your opinion may vary though. Now, after I did that last test with the G5 Professional with that at 100% optical zoom, I put on the Enhancer. And you could see that it popped up in Unify Protect, Enhancer installed on the G5 Pro. So this right now is just doing it off of motion and it will enhance our floodlights to do true color night vision. So let's take a look at that video. Now you can see how bright this is on that floodlight. It's 600 lumen and it is true color night vision. Let's play the video. Again, I'm walking up towards the camera and it does look really good. There is a smidge of ghosting around my face, but I could still tell who it is. The last thing we're going to take a look at is a bit more of the G5 enhancer. So right now I mounted it onto my driveway and you can see my car. And this is just with the night vision on and this is a great picture. Now with the enhancer, there's a few things that we could do. If we go to the settings of the G5, we could see that it now has this color night vision. If we hover over the eye icon, it says the spotlight will turn on when motion is detected at nighttime. We could also go in and set our motion zones and our smart detection zone. So I'm gonna go to recording mode, scroll down to the bottom, and I'm gonna edit the motion zone. I don't really want the spotlight to turn on during motion, so I'm gonna turn that off and press save. I am, however, gonna edit my smart detection zone, and we're gonna turn on the spotlight for this zone, but I'm gonna drag it so it's only on my property. Now I'm going to go walk back outside and once I hit this line, it should trigger the spotlight and we'll see that in a minute. All right, and here's the clip of me walking up to the G5 Pro camera and I did set the smart detection zone around the end of my driveway. I don't think it triggered till I was about here. One thing with these cameras, you can change the sensitivity of the smart detections. Mine is only at 50%, so I might want to bump that up to maybe 75% but let's take a look at the footage. Once it notices a person's walking by, it automatically triggers to do the color night vision on the G5 Enhancer. Now that's gonna be it for this video on the G5 Professional Camera, and will I be recommending it to my customers? Well, I 100% will be. The day footage and the night footage look great. I prefer the G5 Professional night footage against the G4. The biggest selling feature to me is the Enhancer. So adding that on, if I was to buy a G4 Pro, G4 Pro cost me $449. A G5 Pro with the enhancer is only $30 more at $479. The one downfall to the G5 Professional, which I don't really care about, is the audio quality as it's very low. But if I needed to pull the footage and then raise the decibels, I could do that. The enhancer makes this camera really great doing the true color night vision, and it kind of acts as an act of deterrence. If someone was coming up to your house, the light would go off. You could see a picture of the light right here, it's a little hard to capture with my phone camera. If you're using the G5 Professional and with the Enhancer and you like it or you don't like it, leave that down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.